Hello guys, it's Hive with a brand new video today. Against all odds and what I said in my previous video, I will record me when doing tutorials. So, hope you're happy about that and if not, just put your hand like on my face so you don't see me. I don't give a shit whatever you do, just subscribe, please. Pause this video right now, click on the subscribe button should be down here somewhere or if you're in a mobile app it should be up here or there I don't know where it is like here leave a comment subscribe and today's video will be about a program I've used for ages which is also got to do something with my mouse with my headphones of course it's a famous program Razer Synapse Razer Synapse is a program designed for Razer products like we have all these little buttons on the side of this mouse and well they are funny little buttons but what do they do they can do anything as long as you can set the right settings to them how to make these settings how to edit these settings how to make them light up in cool ways like this shit how to make it light up who the fuck knows? Well, I'm going to explain to you guys, it's a pretty obvious program, but if you ever found trouble and just don't know how to do it or are just too bored to even figure out or start trying to do it, then I'm here for you and let's go do it. So here we have the Razer Synapse, we got it open, it should be in the middle of your screen, I'm pointing it because my big uh, screen is here. Anyhow, you can, well we will start with Razer Firefly which is a mouse mat, I will show to you, I can't lift it up because the cable is fair. So it's just a mouse mat but it lights up. At the moment I got it on reactive so whenever I click, it lights up. Sorry, you can't see it well. My light's on and it's too light here. Anyhow, we will discuss this. For reactive, you can set the duration to short, medium or long. Which means if you click, if the lights will stay on for a short period, medium period or long period. The brightness is pretty much forward. Reactive, that's what it's on now. Breathing. Breeding is, well, it phases the color, like green off, red off, like we got now. We can change this into pretty much any color ever. So, yay! Alright, to the next one. Spectrum cycling, it just cycles through all the colors it can possibly make. Static is just a static color, you can also choose everything you want. And the wave function is probably the most popular function, it just goes like a fucking color wave. Yeah! Anyhow, that's pretty much for the Razer Firefly, it's just a mouse mat, don't expect too much man, it's a mouse mat. I know I'm poor but it's a mouse mat man. Alright, the Razer Orb Weaver, that's an old other thing. You can customize each and every button, even the little ones on the side. It looks like this. So it's far away. Again, the cable is like stuck behind everything ever. I got on this desk. Anyhow, here are the few buttons on the side, which you can see here. And it's just fully customizable. There are also different key maps and the little light here on the right of the device will light up in different colors so like key map 2 is middle green key map 3 below blue and so on the burner functions they have got a default function which is just the default function which it pretty much tells what it is keyboard function you can practically buy it uh, bind it to every single key ever macro function is installing macros on it we will get to it Sure, 12 if the device is regulating other Razer devices you got. Switching key maps is switching key maps. Switching profiles, you can have multiple profiles on one device, 
which allows another set of key maps and another color. Now you can prog pro prog and fuck me in the ass, please. Launching a program. It's launching a program. The joystick feature, it has got this little round joystick on the side. I'll show it to you. Here. Little round joystick thingy. And you can just... Well, customized it. Never used it. Don't want to use it because it's fucking useless. Since... You can customize the joystick already, I mean, come on. But if you like it, fuck around with it, it's not that hard. Multimedia is just for your music, volume, whatever. Windows shortcuts, it's like opening a program, but easier. It's like all your Windows shit, copy, paste. Because if you're too lazy to just type in Ctrl C, Ctrl V, you can just get a fucking keyboard. All right, for the lightning, this one has got well, pretty much the same lightning, breathing, reactive, static, with a ripple. But I will not show these to you right now because I'll move on to the other device and then come back because this has got its own chroma configurator. What is a chroma configurator? I'll let you know near future because I want to cover the other device as well. So the Chrome app configurator we will save that for the last. Alright the Raisin Kraken 7.1 Chroma it's this thing which I'm recording with at the moment. I hope the sound ain't too fucking shitty. Anyhow the lightning is the logo you can just change it static breathing spectrum cycling we already went to this the equalizer is just a sound equalizer with pretty much for every sound ever, every music style ever. And you can also customize it if you want to just pull these up and down whilst listening to music and get the favorite result. The mixer is just, it shows all your fucking programs which are open and you can just like the computer mixer but then more cool. The microphone, you can put on the microphone volume, microphone sensitivity, how it picks up the volume, ambient noise reduction, if there's a full on it will just only record anything that happens close to it and if it's off then it will record more, that's pretty much, so if it's higher you gotta scream louder. Volume normalization is how hard you scream, how well, lower the volume goes. If you go to them 100, uh, you just gotta whisper and the volume already turns off almost. So, I recommend keeping it low. The audio, volume, bass boost, and sound normalization is, well, like calling on Skype when you're listening to music and somebody calls you Skype or TeamSpeak Discord and it start talking to you, that the noise of the music will go down so you can actually hear the person talking. Voice clarity is, well, it clarifies the voices in communication, device like Skype, TeamSpeak, Discord, whatever. And the volume level is increases, decreases the volume of incoming communication. It's pretty much the same as sound normalization, only more enhanced. About the calibration, you just gotta do it and you will get really cool surround sound effects. And with the Razer Kraken 7.1 Chroma and with every Razer headphones you get also a program, well the ability to download the program for free, Razer Surround Pro. You can call on the click call, what the fuck am I doing with my fucking life? Fuck. Anyhow you can call, click, click, fucking click, you can click on the surround demo and then click on the calibration wizard and you can just calibrate your own surround sound inside your fucking headphone. You gotta look up if your device is compatible though. And last but not least, I didn't get the chroma configure it up. The Razer Kraken. 
Razor Naga Epichroma, why the fuck do I even say fucking crap? Anyhow, Razor Naga Epichroma, it's this little beautiful mouse. It's amazing, looks pretty damn good with every game ever. So, again, multiple key maps just like the keypad, which is called the Razor Orb Weaver. Not promoting anything. But I am. Anyhow. You can change the settings pretty much exactly the same as the Razor Orb Weaver, only this does not have the joystick feature because it doesn't have a joystick. The scroll wheel you can also, well, pretty much over adjust. And the side view you can also link anything, whatever you want to it. The same for the profiles. Each profile can contain another light effect or other key maps. Performance, here's the sensitivity when it reacts, how fast it reacts, and the acceleration like if you move like a spasm kit. It will accelerate faster, so you gotta do like only this and it's on the other side of your fucking screen if you got acceleration very high. I don't know why this goes up to 80,000. 8000, 80,000 is a little bit ridiculous, that would be too much, but it goes up to 8200, I don't even know why, because I can't even control my mouse that fast. The lightning, you can set the tone grid, which is this, different from this, so you can have two different colors in this. Which colors you can have is static and spectrum cycling. Uh, you can actually dim them in wide mode and in wireless mode. The power, it just shows the power and, well, read. And add-ons is for in-game configurator. I don't use them because they got no use for me. But if you're a World of Warcraft player, it's specially mostly designed for World of Warcraft, so good luck! Alright, now about the other programs like Macros and Chroma Configurator. Macros are an all other thing. You can click on plus, you can cut, give it the name, I will give it the test name. It made a little sound. Anyways, you can record it and then you can do a record delay, so if I press like now, no, I stop. You see, it waited two seconds. But if I delete all this, fuck, delete this macro. All right, and do another one. I can also set in the default delay. You can change it to whatever you like and it will get a default delay between the key presses. So like press, press, press. I can wait as long as I want but it will just stay on 0.50 seconds. And the no delay is of course no delay at all. So it just goes spasming. Don't know why I need it but it could be nice. You can also edit these macros with this little tool so like delete it. Delete it. Whatever you want to do. You can also edit the time. So the keyframe interval, you can also edit it with this. You just gotta screw around a little with the program and you will get it very, very fast. Okay, anyhow, now we are going back to Razor or Weaver. Since I would show you the Chroma Configurator. Alright, I'll be back in a bit, I'll set this up and wait one minute, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back, I set up the razor thingy. Yeah. Anyhow, you can fully customize each single button on this device. Alright. What you can customize is just to click it. If you hold control like you would hold normally, you can click multiple buttons so they got multiple effects and you can add an effect. Ripple is that it will go just from a color like 
it cools down to these colors. I'll show you. Pattern. Apply. Alright, so if you click now, it will ripple. From all that. Let's go delete this one. See, now if I click this, it will ripple into another form. So just kind of a wave, but then it's reactive. Static is just again static. Wave is the same as on the Razor Firefly. It's just up result. Like a full color wave. Spectrum cycling is just it goes through all the colors. Breeding is breeding. And you can customize it per button. Except that you can customize the key map thingies. But you can customize each and every button and also differently so you don't have to have the same effect on everything you can do this like a wave the upper row the down row you can do static be creative you can do it in any color and time with the base of the wave is well how big the wave is how much these colors are pause is if it will pass in between and i said zero so it's a continuous flow the speed is speed of the wave if you want to split it so it goes in different intervals and the angle of the wave so if it goes just up and down left to right or you can do it any single way you like for the other things it's pretty st straight fuck me in the ass straight forward sorry my English pronunciation is fucking shit and that kinda was it for this video like and subscribe so be sure to leave a comment down below and leave a fucking like yeah leave a like all right leave a like thumbs up subscribe and share this video with your friends so they also know how to use this program which isn't really big of fun but in case you were too lazy to google razor or something you can just watch this video entertain yourself grab some popcorn and install your race devices or you can just watch me showing off my race devices i don't get a razor keyboard it's microsoft so yeah i'm a microsoft new microsoft is fucking awesome see you in the next one Go on.